convert the following decimal numbers to the floating point numbers using 4 bit exponent and 12 bit mantissa. These are the given decimal numbers. We are supposed to convert these into floating point numbers. So now before doing the conversion, let me explain the floating point format. So the floating point format looks like this. Here it is said that it should consist of 4 bit exponent and 12 bit of mantissa. So here the same thing I have shown here. So here we have 4 block it indicates 4 bit exponent. And here we have 12 bits of mantissa. This is 12 bits mantissa. So in this 4 bit exponent, this bit indicates the sign bit. This is the sign bit. If this bit is 0, the number is positive. And if this bit is 1, the number is negative. Similarly, here in mantissa part, this bit indicates the sign bit here also if this bit is 0 it indicates the number is positive and if it is 1 it indicates the number is negative let me take the first example so we have 0 0.64 into 2 power minus 2 the general format is m into 2 power e that is the number x is equal to m into 2 power e so this e indicates the exponent here the exponent value is is equal to minus 2 so if the exponent value is minus 2 we supposed to represent the number in 2's complement form if exponent value is positive we have to keep the number as it is so here it is said that the exponent consists of 4 bits so this 4 bit includes sign bit also so here we have e is equal to minus 2. So as, as I said exponent value is negative. We are supposed to represent this in 2's complement form. So first let me write the positive 2. That is 2 can be represented in 4 bit as 0, 0, 1, 0. So I am supposed to write it as minus 2. So let me take the 2's complement of this. So then we can get minus 2 value. So to find 2's complement, first we have to take 1's complement. The 1's complement of this is, so that is 1's complement is just replace each 0 by 1 and 1 by 0. That is 1, 1, 0, 1 plus 1. So 1's complement plus 1 gives 2's complement. So 1 plus 1 is 0, carry is 1, 0 plus 1 is 1. This one kept as it is, this one kept as it is. So therefore now exponent e is equal to minus 2 which is nothing but 1, 1, 1, 0. 1, 1, 1, 0. So this is the part of the floating point number. So here exponent value, this value is, now I can say it is 1, 1, 1, 0. That is 1, 1, 1, 0. Now we will try to represent this 0 0.64 in terms of 12 bit mantissa. So here the remaining number is mantissa m that is nothing but 0 0.64. So we are supposed to represent this 0 0.64 in terms of 12 bits. So in this 12 bit one of the bit is sign bit. The remaining bits are 11 bit. So we are supposed to represent this 0 0.64 in terms of q11 format. Represent. 0 0.64 in q11 format so now i will explain you how to represent 0 0.64 in q11 format first write the number 0 0.64 it should be multiplied with 2 so if we multiply 0 0.64 with 2 we will get the product as 1. 8. So in this 1.28, this 1 should be written here which indicates carry. This 1 should be written here which indicates carry. Now the remaining number is 0 0.28. Now write that number here that is 0 0.28 again multiplied by 2. So it gives 
zero point five six. Here the carry bit is this one. That is nothing but zero. So here carry is zero. Now the remaining number is zero point five six. That is zero point five six into two. So if we multiply zero point five six with the two, it gives one point one two. So now this one should be written here, which indicates carry. Now the remaining number is zero point one two. Again, it should be multiplied by two, so it gives zero point two four. This zero should be written here. The remaining number is right here. That is zero point two four into two. That is zero point four eight. So this zero should be carry. Again, multiply zero point four eight by two. So it gives zero point nine six. This zero should be written here. Again, we have zero point nine six into two. It gives one point nine two. This one should be written here. The remaining is point nine two. That is zero point nine two. Again, multiplied by two. It gives one point eight four. This one should be written here. Then take zero point eight four into two. We have one point six eight. This one should be written here. Now we have zero point six eight into two. It gives one point three six. This one should be written here. Then we have zero point three into two. It gives. 0.72. This zero should be written here. So now here we can observe that in Q11 format we have to multiply the starting number with 11 times. So here we got the 11 bits as we have multiplied with 11 times. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. -10 so we have to stop this process. So now we supposed to represent this carry from top to bottom in this order. That is 1. We have zero one, zero one, zero zero zero, one 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 one, and we have zero. As shown, this bit is the sign bit. Here zero point six four. This is a positive number, so this sign bit should be zero. So here, the first number will be zero, which indicates sign bit. So now combining this exponent value, that is one 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 zero, and remaining twelve bits together is nothing but sixteen bit format. That is four bit of exponent and twelve bit of mantissa. That is, let me write these numbers. That is one zero one, one zero one. We have triple zero, and we have one one one. One zero. So this is the entire format, which is nothing but four bit of exponent and twelve bit of mantissa. So this is the floating point number for zero point six four into two power minus two. So let me take minus zero point six four into two power five. So here we can observe that the exponent e is equal to plus five. So we suppose to represent this plus five in terms of four bit as the number is positive. So we no need to convert this into two's complement form. Directly we suppose to represent in binary format in four bits. That is, I can represent five in binary as zero one zero one. So now here we can observe that we have zero minus zero point six four. So already we have found the result for zero point six four. So to get minus zero point six four, we have to take two's complement of binary representation of zero point six four. That is, so already we have calculated zero point six four. We six four already we have calculated. It gives that is zero one zero one. Let me write that zero one zero one. Then we have triple zero four one zero. That is zero 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 one 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 zero. So to get minus zero point six four, we have to take two's complement of this number. So to get two's complement, first convert this number into one's complement. That is 
one's complement can be represented as so negate each so to get one's complement take the complement of each bit that is we have one here we have one that will be zero so we have one zero 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 it gives one 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 here we have one 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 that is zero 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 and here we have zero that is one so plus one it gives two's complement that is one plus one is zero carry is one zero plus one is one rest all numbers are as it is one 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 we have zero one zero one so this is equivalent to minus 0 0.64 so therefore now combining these two i can write minus 0 0.64 into 2 power 5 is equal to we have four bit of exponent that is 0 1 0 1 and remaining 12 bits are we have 1 0 1 0 then we have 1 1 1 we have 0 0 0 0 0 0 then we have 1 0 so this is how we supposed to convert the given decimal number into floating point number thank you for watching